Bob. Pope Julius. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Supreme drops in the stores today. And you can't say pop without the smoke. Reminder, if you purchase an Elijah Anthony State t-shirt, they'll be available today after school right here in the HCTV studio, or you can find Mr. Salee. Battle of the Books will take place next Wednesday, February 26th from 5 to 7 in the cafeteria. All participants are welcome to stay in the library after school. See you there. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2 will be cheeseburgers, line 3 is hot dogs, line 4 is grilled chicken, sandwich, or personal pan pizza, and line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Jason Campos, Pamela Castro Sanchez, Keanu Duckworth, Christopher Flatford, and Kaylee Smith. Now let's go to sports and weather. Thanks guys. Today there is a high of 29 and a low of 16, but in happier news, it should be mostly sunny with clear skies tonight. Stay warm and hold on, hot dogs. Friday's almost here. That's all for weather. Now it's sports with Juliet. Thanks, Calissa. The boys' basketball team got two nice wins over the Carroll Cougars Tuesday night. Varsity won 56-28. Cameron Williams led the team with 16 points. The JV won 66-42. Connor Boone and Deacon Spencer each led with 23 points each. Reminder, Saturday evening is the boys' basketball senior night. You can get in for free with your blue t-shirt when you wear it to the game. Reminder to all girls planning to play softball this spring, off-season conditioning Monday and Wednesday start at 7 to 8, and indoor practices in the aux on Tuesday and Thursdays are from 7 to 8.30. You will need to get uniforms, helmets ordered before the season starts. Official start date is March 9th, which means physicals need to be turned in and final forms and information is completed. Also, there will be a tennis call-out meeting for all girls interested in playing tennis in the spring season on February 24th in room 305 at 3. That's all for sports. Now back to your host. On March 12th during community, all seniors are invited to a presentation about uh, safety measures and sexual assault presented by the Clinton County Prosecutor's Office. A consent on green paper will be given out to all seniors during community this week. Please take the forms home and have parents sign and return them to our hot dog nurse, Mrs. Harshman. Now to the Big Wheel of Fun that you should have seen yesterday. Morning hot dogs, I'm here with the Big Wheel of Fun. First spin. Number 19, Deborah Peart. Deborah Peart, you're our first winner. Next spin. Forty-three. Adam Nichols. Adam Nichols, you're our next winner. And our last spin. Number 88. John Isles. Three winners. John Isles. Adam Nichols and Deborah Peart. Come down and collect your prizes. The FEF scholarship deadline has been extended to February 28th, so you still have a little more time to work on that. Anyways, the Frankfurt Optimism Club would like to invite you to participate in the Optimist Oracle Contest or the Optimist Essay Contest. Both contests are ex designed for youth to gain experience in public speaking and writing and to provide an opportunity to earn college scholarships. Want more information? Check the chatter. And now, let's hear from Oda about the criminal justice pathway. The criminal justice pathway requires six credits. All courses must be taken together throughout the three trimesters. Intro to criminal justice, criminal minds and deviant behavior, Basic police operations and ethics and professionalism in criminal justice are all dual credit classes. These are all offered off campus and they take up to two periods at the school's central office. IPR is another class offered with Mrs. Brandstetter on campus. If this is something you enjoy, criminal justice is your path.
That's it for the last announcements of the trimester. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with us, and good luck on the rest of your finals. On Tuesday in history, Pope Julius II dies. He lies in rest in a huge tome sculptured by Michelangelo.